Hey guys, this is day 14 of percentages, and we have a new concept that we're going to be working on um, this week. So we're going to be finding one quantity as a percentage of another. So we're going to start off with, hopefully you have the notes in front of you. You have two pages, one called word problem tips, and then one with, with notes on them. So we're going to start off with that word problem tips page, and this is going to look really familiar because this is similar to what we talked about when we were in the ratios unit, where we were using keywords to help us set up our fractions. So you have three different um, concepts that you need to remember for the rest of this unit. Um, this first one, is over of, is what's going to be familiar to, the, to you from ratios. So is over of, change over the original, and more over than. So let me show you what I mean by these things. Okay, let's, let's take a look at is over of and do a problem where we need to find the percentage of something. Okay, so Jeff's salary is $2,000. Todd's salary is $2,500. Express Todd's salary as a percentage of Jeff's salary. So let's do some underlining here. We have of Jeff's salary, right? So that's gonna provide our of, that's the thing that we're gonna compare to, and that goes on the bottom. We have Todd's salary, as, and if you remember back from ratios, I said it's is or as over of. So let's set that up. When we want Todd over Jeff, so we're going to put $2,500 on top and $2,000 on the bottom. Okay, so from here, all we're going to do is convert this fraction to a percent because it tells us right here that we want to express that as a percentage. So let's cross cancel first of all and just get a number that's a little easier to work with. So now I have 25 over 20 and I'm going to use method 1 and multiply that by 5 over 5 to get a denominator of 100. So I get 125 over 100 and that means that um, Todd's salary as a percentage of Jeff's salary is 125%, or Todd's salary is 125% of Jeff's salary. Okay, let's take a look now at more over than. Here's our example problem. There are 42 boys and 24 girls in a club. How many percent more boys than girls are there? So when, I'm, when I have a more over than problem, I'm really looking at the difference between the two things over the than. So since it says how many percent more boys, the first step is we need to figure out how many more boys than girls are there. So let's subtract 24 from 42 and we're going to get 18. So there are 18 more boys. Okay, so I'm going to put that on top. And we already know that there are 24 girls. We don't have to do anything with that. And now we're just simply going to convert that to a percentage. So let's use method 2 100 and multiply that by 100 over 1. And let's do some cross-canceling here. I can divide both 24 and 18 by 6. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I get 3 over 4. Now I can take and cross-cancel the 4 and 100. And I'll take that down to a 1 and I'll divide... 100 by 4 and I get 25 and now I just have 3 times 20 3 over 1 times 24 5 over 1 so that's going to be 75 over 1 which of course is 75 percent so there are 75 percent more boys than girls in the club all right let's look at our third type of problem here it's change over original our example problem says Mrs. Bodie's monthly salary was increased from $1,200 to $1,500. By what percentage was her monthly salary increased? So when we're looking at this, we're looking at the change in monthly salary. So since it was increased from $1,200 to $1,500, the change is $300, okay? So that's going to go on top. The original was $1,200. So that's going to go on the bottom. Okay, so from here, 
we'll just let's use um, method one and to get that denominator to 100 we're going to convert this to a percentage so we'll divide by 12 over 12. so if i divide 1200 by 12 of course that's just 100 right and then 300 divided by 12 is going to be 25 and so my answer is mrs bodie's salary was increased by 25 percent All right, let's try a few more problems here. Okay, Paul saves $400 and Tommy saves $500. Express Tommy's savings as a percentage of Paul's savings. So now we have an is or as over of. So let's, let's do some boxing and underlining here. So Tommy's savings as, I'm gonna box that, that's my as, a percentage of Paul's savings. So I'm going to put Tommy on the top and Paul on the bottom, which is going to give me a percentage greater than 100, but that's okay. So Tommy had $500 and Paul had $400. Now we're going to convert this to percentage. Let's use method one and we'll divide both of those by four. 400 divided by four is 100. And then 500 divided by 4 is going to be 125. Let's see how I get there. So 5 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Subtract, bring down the next 0. 4 goes into 10 twice. Bring down that other 0. And that's how we get 125. Okay, so that equals 125%. We are going to... Um, use our answers and we're going to write a statement with them so the first couple are done for you and all you have to do is fill in a blank but then you're going to be on your own to write your own statements so in this problem our statement is Tommy's savings is 125 percent of Paul's savings okay let's try another one Melissa saves $400 and Jojo saves $500 express Melissa's savings as a percentage of Jojo's savings. So Melissa is my as and Jojo is of. So we're going to write Melissa over Jojo. And let's see, Melissa had $400 and Jojo has $500. Okay, same numbers as the last problem, only things are flip flopped this time, aren't they? Let's divide, oops. Let's divide both by 5 over 5 and use method 1 to get that denominator to 100. So if I divide 500 by 5, I get 100. 400 divided by 5 is going to be 80. And the answer is 80%. So Melissa's savings is 80% of JoJo's savings. Okay, now we're going to just try a few easy ones, and then you guys are going to have some Toyos. What percentage is $3 of 30 cents? Okay, so here's my of, and here's my is, right? I bet you guys are already going, Mrs. Jurgens, Mrs. Jurgens, I have different units. I know, I'm getting there. So let's do $3 on the bottom and 30 cents on top. And oh, look at that. We have different units. We need to convert one to the other. It's always going to be, pretty much always, going to be easier to convert the larger unit to the smaller unit. So let's keep our 30 cents and let's convert dollars to cents by multiplying it times 100. $3 becomes 300 cents. And we want to know our percentage, so let's divide by 3 over 3. And of course we get 10 on top and we get 100 on the bottom and that equals 10%. So 30 cents is 10% of $3. Now notice that down here for my statement, I went back and I used the original um, quantity here, didn't I? The unconverted quantity. And that's the way we want it because we're answering this question up here. So we should use that $3 and not 300 cents.
Express 300 milliliters as a percentage of 2 liters. All right, 300 milliliters is my as, and 2 liters is my of, and look at that. I have different units, don't I? Okay, let's convert meters to milliliters. I'm sorry, liters to milliliters. 300 milliliters over 2,000 milliliters because one liter is 1,000 milliliters. And just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to cross cancel a little bit here. And now I will multiply by 5 over 5 to make that denominator 100. I mean, there are a couple different ways I could have done this. I also could have just kept 300 over 2,000 and divided by 20 over 20, but whatever. This one was easier. Okay, so 3 times 5 is 15. 20 times 5 is 100. My answer is 15%. And I'm going to say 300 milliliters is... 15% of 2 liters. Remember, I went back to that original unit there. Okay, um, let's do one more together, and then you're going to have a bunch of Toyos. So express 1.35 meters as a percentage of 90 centimeters. 1.35 meters is my as, and 90 centimeters is my of. Let's convert meters to centimeters. There are 100, cent or, excuse me, 100 centimeters in every meter, so I need to multiply 1.35 times 100. So I get 135 centimeters over 90 centimeters. And we want a percentage, so let's multiply this by 100 over 1. Let's cross-cancel here, and then let's cross-cancel that 135 and 9. You can divide both by 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1. 135 divided by 9 is 15. And now I have 15 over 1 times 10 over 1, which gives me 150 over 1, which is 150%. Now notice that on your notes page, you have to write your own statement. So pause the video and do that right now, and then come back and see if you came up with something similar. All right, you should have said something like 135 meters is 150% of 90 centimeters. All right, go ahead and do the last four on your own, and then come back and check your work. Okay, $20 as a percentage of $5. You should have said $20 is 400% of $5. Number seven, $18 as a percentage of $6. You should have said $18 is 300% of $6. Next one, 100 milliliters as a percentage of 0 0.5 liters. You should have said that 100 milliliters is 20% of 0 0.5 liters. And the last one, 2.4 kilometers as a percentage of 800 meters. Hopefully you said that 2.4 kilometers is 300% of 800 meters. All right, that's all for today, folks.